Rhino tested for thickness. Now, Channel 4's season of women cinema continues with four graphic tales of women versus the law. scholar and philosopher who lived in Greece between 384 and 322 BC. But the temperance of a man and of a woman, or the courage and justice of a man and of a woman, are not as Socrates maintained the same. He was much respected for his ideas and teachings on a wide range of, of social issues. Shown in commanding of a woman in he had no doubt as to what it was that gave him his basic status and authority in society. He was a man. And the female inferior. And the one rules, and the other is ruled. This principle of necessity extends to all mankind. Where then there is such a difference as that between soul and body, or between men and... Aristotle animals, based his ideas on what he saw as natural law. Because women of his time were subordinate, he thought that they deserved to be so. In his opinion, their subordinate position followed from their natural inferiority. And this holds of all other excellences, as will be more clearly seen if we look at them in detail. And all tame animals are better off when they are ruled by man. Over the centuries, laws have been formulated according to similar principles. Existing situations must be right, so laws should reinforce the existing order of things. Because men have traditionally been the ones in power, they have made the laws. Because the laws have been based on a male view of the world, they have perpetuated the idea of men's right to be in power. All classes must be deemed to have their special attributes. As the poet says of women, silence is a woman's glory. Hmm. For centuries, women were kept invisible before the law by ideas like those of Aristotle. Women's own interests were not recognized. For a very long time, women carried no weight in court. Until quite recently, women could not become lawyers or judges. Yet, images of strong and beautiful women were used to personify justice. Justice carried the pair of scales as a symbol of equality before the law. of human rights, which apparently claimed equality of life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness for all people, failed to take account of women's needs and interests. Tradition and ignorance have long deprived women of their rights. Not until 1979, the year of the United Nations Treaty of New York, was there any recognition of the need for women to have the power to decide for themselves on such issues as the number and the spacing of their children? The treaty declared that women have to have access to the information, education, and means to enable them to exercise these rights. The right to vote. The right to hold public offices. 
the right to resist against oppression, the right to choose a profession, the right to equal pay, the right to administer harm. created equal. That is all human beings. Tribunal, I am writing to ask you how it is that I, I am less a week than the man who works on a gentleman conveniences. We are doing the same job. Thank you for your kind attention. Yours faithfully. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I couldn't write. I hope. But he got a family to support. <coughs> we come to the conclusion that this kind of work is women's true natural function, whereas for men it is true labor. Therefore, she's lucky to be paid at all. She's lucky to be paid at all. Well, look, I've got a family to support. I'm lucky to get paid at all.
no's do not always mean no. Ave, ave, ave Maria. Ave, ave, ave Buddha. This was an act of personal vindication and a total waste of the court's time. Case dismissed. Very ex. You have been accused of a very serious crime. Killing your husband, father of your children, and pillar of society. Have you anything to say for yourself? Yes, I do. I'm going to buy a bright red Porsche. Bit of acting. Write some poetry. Bit of painting. Save the world, I think. Whatever you plan to do when you retire, ask at any TSB branch about a personal pension plan. Peace and financial stability. That's all I want out of retirement. Whatever you plan, the answer's TSB. Here. Yeah. You say 15 pounds. Booking at Lum Polly. Get away. Get away for less with Lum Polly. No, this is 4724. That's quite all right.
The Crown Courts present a melodrama in full fancy dress. Murders most found. Excuse me. Pray silence in Corsia. You, James Young Husband, are charged that on the 22nd day of February of this year, you did murder your wife, Alice Young Husband. How plead you? Yeah. Guilty. Or not guilty? Not guilty, my lord. What you will now hear, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, is how Mr. Young Husband strangled his wife. <gasps> and why these tragic events came to pass. Uh, this was not murder in the way you might imagine murder to be from a play. Or a film, but rather the act of a man Listen, who would you feel listen? had no Get other But let us hear in the accused's own words. Come on, lad, you've got to... Silence in court. I loved it. Oh, did you hear that one? Yes, I did. Oh, Insight. When all you wanted was to relax after a hard day's work. Oh, yes, my lord. That's all you to do. All she would do is carry on. Now she now. See, for years you endured the nagging, the goady, and then things took a turn for the worse, I understand. Yes, my lord. She was taking a pill? Drugs. Yes, my lord, drugs. And that altered her behavior towards you? Made her a liar, forgetful? Yes, my lord. Indeed, you could say that at this time she was an unfit mother. Yes, yes, wow. unfit. She unfit. flaunted her drug taking. She was no longer mindful of her role as a wife. I understand. She also drank. Yes, my lord. Oh, that's disgusting, she Larry. Drank. Kiddies and all. Indeed, Drinking she was an alcoholic. Need any more be said? Mm. Shut up. Oh. But the can't take as much beer as we can. Oh, no. Now, and I know this will be difficult and painful for you, when you tell us in your own words about the more intimate side of the relationship. After an evening at home, which you wanted to be quiet, homely, peaceful, you would go to her, and she would reject you. Is that so? It is not. Well, that's Dallas. Dallas. It's the same old story. She rejected you once, twice, whenever she wished. Seemed whenever she wished, my lord. Hey, hey, I think I'm right in saying that she haunted you about sex. She did, my lord. And she it was at this stage you discovered did. she had become a lesbian. <laughs> what you might feel, members of the jury, when confronted with the fact that the woman you loved, that you had devoted yourself to, oh, you may well know yeah. those famous words, yeah. for each man kills the thing he loves. That's for my client. Those words have proved only too true. At the end of this case, you will leave this book and go back into the bosom of your family, while my client will have to live with this tragic event every day for the rest of his life. I rest my case. Well done, Lang. Well done! Your conduct was extremely callous, and I suspect calculating. But I have come to the conclusion that uh, having spent ten weeks in prison and uh, had the remorse which I am told you feel, you have suffered enough. I am therefore sentencing you to six months in prison and suspended for two years. You can, hey, you can get away daughter. with it if you want. You are therefore oh, yeah. discharged. Oh no, you can't. Oh yes, you can. You know oh no, you can't. Murders Most Foul. 
All over the country, this drama is being played out as you have witnessed it here today. Place, judges, sir. it's not a bad play at all. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Time and time again, judges are making judgments as men are provoked to kill by faithless Not a bit of it. If you have ever, ever, <clears throat> and if you have enjoyed this performance, Enjoy you can it. see it. If you have enjoyed this performance, gentlemen, as I have, you can see it repeated any day, yes. anywhere there is a there town called Theatre. And may we apologize for any disruption to your pleasure, which may have been caused by the slight interruption. Are equal before the law. All men, insert and women, are equal before the law. All men, insert and women, are equal before the law. as a boy. Yes, my girl. She never messed with dolls. Not her. <laughs> she kicks a ball as well as a man. She does. Well, young lady, if fun's over, 